Welcome back to Base Sunday. Imagine that your boyfriend surprises you by actually saying yes to moving in together. You're totally shocked, and now you realize you have to tell your ultra-conservative Muslim Iranian parents that you're not getting married anytime soon, but you're moving in with your atheist boyfriend. Not so easy. So enter Zara Norbash. This is a subject in her very funny one-woman show, and it's called all atheists are Muslim. Good morning to you. Good morning. So how did you come up with this idea? Because there's so many universal themes here I think that pretty much anyone can identify with. Yes. Uh, well, uh, one thing that helped come up with the idea is that it happened. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a true story. And uh, about a time in my life when I was 25, in 2005, and uh, my white, whitey white, 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 <laughs> translucent, atheist, non-believing, infidel boyfriend decided that he wanted to move in with me, a Muslim Iranian American, and I had to face the music and tell my parents. So, I mean, I can only imagine thinking of my own parents, but what was their reaction when you said you're going to move in and you're not getting married? Oh, I, they, they just thought I was joking. <laughs> I mean, the, the idea that I would even suggest it was just beyond them. I, I think it took me 10 minutes to convince them that I was being serious. So which is worse, that he is Caucasian and not a Muslim, or that you are moving in together and you're not married? I think that's, I think that's what's funny about it, too, <laughs> is that what, is, what of this is the worst, you know? Is it worse that he's atheist? That he's that he's a, a white guy, American, and not Iranian, uh, or that we're not getting married and we're just gonna live together. Which of these exactly is the one that sent my parents over the edge? <laughs> it's a combination, obviously. So why don't we take a look at uh, a clip and see a little bit of your show to see what we're talking about? You have God. This is your God, but this is also the Muslim God. This is non-Islamic. You can't do it. That's it. All right. If you don't like this, you get out of this house. You do not tell her to get out of this house. I tell her to get out of this house. <laughs> she is my daughter. I carried her in my belly for nine months. What did you do? You just got fat. <laughs> You know what's amazing is that I think we all do our parents the best, right? Right, right. People always ask me, uh, you know, how I rehearse for the show and whatnot and how I create my characters. And I'm like, I've been doing my dad's character since I was 10 years old. <laughs> like, I lived this, hello, I didn't right. need to practice. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay, so you go through this whole thing. How personal do you get? I mean, because this, is, this has got to be, you know, a pretty personal thing since it is a one-woman show and you yes. lived it. Yes, yes. Well, I think uh, one of the great things about solo performance is that you're expected to be personal. You know, you're, you're up there telling a story and the reason why it's relevant is because it's personal to you. Uh, the, the other thing that I really wanted to make sure was that as I was kind of going through the piece and deciding, you know, well, what do I change? What do I tell? I also kind of felt like I needed to keep it as true to the, um, time as possible to the original story as possible because I feel like with Muslims in the United States there's so much Islamophobia there's so much demonization that happens and so many times I hear uh, well you're you're a good Muslim <laughs> you're one of the good Muslims you're one of the nice Muslims you know <laughs> so uh, I wanted to have a story that was you know showing different uh, characters of my family, different aspects of my religion, um, its inclusiveness, because we don't see that often, and that uh, was true to the event. So I can say this did happen, this was an event with my Islamic Iranian family, and uh, we came to a compromise. My parents didn't disown me, I didn't get stoned in a ditch in my backyard, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Well, I think what strikes me too is that because people do have that kind of um, fear of Muslims yes. and it's like when you see something like this you realize it's, you're just like everyone else right. you deal with the exact same issues that every family deals exactly. with exactly you're dealing with your crazy parents <laughs> you're dealing with your crazy boyfriend he's also here so we should be careful <laughs> definitely crazy amp the <laughs> so I think it's really cool you're doing this at stage works now for anyone who wanted to get involved in theater because it's not so easy to get into any advice for people who are kind of up and coming I think you just got to get out there you gotta, you know, 
take the risks, go for it. Put uh, it out there. Put it out there, <laughs> you know, be authentic, be genuine, and just keep doing it. Okay, well, All Atheists Are Muslims is playing at Stage Works Theater in, in San Francisco, and you can see it on July 3rd and 10th. We want to say thank you to Zara for coming in thank and you. Telling, thank you for having telling us all about it. And we're going to be right back right after this break.